Hey guys, I just wanted to first apologize for the past couple of weeks and my shortcomings between Burger Bash, my vacation last week. We didn't have a video the past couple of weeks, and so I I know a lot of you guys were asking, and and I apologize for that. But we're gonna get right back on the grind here this week and and start talking about some things. And as I was praying about and just thinking about what God wanted me to share with you guys, I kept having this thought, and this is kind of something that God's just speaking with me too. Is you know a lot of times in the Bible, we all know that 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 uh, as a Christian, things are supposed to happen in, in the lives of other people around us. And what I mean by that, like Jesus talked about uh, to whenever he was talking to his disciples, he said, "Go and make disciples of men. You know, get people saved. That kind of stuff." And he also said that 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 you're going to heal people. That that there's going to be sick people. That when you get when you pray for them, they're they're going to be healed. And I think sometimes we we start to see that stuff and we say, "Why is that stuff not happening?" If there's you know, we had 300 people at Burger Bash, and we had, we, on a typical Wednesday night, we have like anywhere from, from 40 to 60 students who, who, who say that they're Christians. So why are we not seeing these incredible things? And I think what God was really trying to show me, even just in my leadership, is that you got to start beginning to see people differently. A leader has to see people and see the people that, he's, that, that are following him or her. They have to see them in a different way. Like, we can't just go about our life living however we want. We have to see people the way that God sees people. And I think the reason why Jesus had such an incredible impact whenever, I mean, we all know the, the stories of Jesus or at least have some idea that he was this man who went around and he healed people and blind people saw and, 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 and lame walked and all these incredible things and obviously salvation and stuff. And, 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 and I think the reason for that is because Jesus saw people differently. He didn't see people as annoyances. He didn't see people as, as, as uh, uh, um, you know, ranking as, a, are you in the popular crew or are you not? And, 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 and interacted with them differently based off of that. He saw them differently. He saw them like God did. And the thing that, uh, if you look in the Bible, almost every single time before Jesus did something, uh, did some sort of miracle, whether that was allowed the blind to see, allowed the lame to walk, anything like that. There's always a phrase that is right before it that I think is so important and is what determines how our level of impact is going to be. And the phrase is this, Jesus moved with compassion, and then it says whatever he did. Is it? It'll say, Jesus moved with compassion, healed this person. And I think that a lot of times we want to make an impact and we want to make a difference and we want to, we want to change our schools, we want to change our friends, but the, the, the lens that we're viewing the people around us with, it's not compassion, it's annoyance or, or it's gossip or it's something like, something, something like that that's negative in that sense. And I think as long as we continue to view those people in that sort of way, whether it's them being an annoyance or we're just gossiping about them, then we are cutting off our ability to reach them. I think sometimes we wonder, man, why can't I get people to, 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 to come to church with me? Well, what are you viewing them as? Are you viewing them as an annoyance? Are you viewing them as not part of the popular crowd so they're not worth your time? Are you viewing them, or are you viewing people with compassion? If you're gonna be an effective leader who creates change the way that Jesus did, because if you look in the Bible, Jesus actually told the people that were following him, and, and, and which includes us, you're going to make a greater impact than even I did, which for me <laughs> blows my mind because I don't see myself making, I don't see myself, you know, healing the blind or doing all these incredible, amazing things that Jesus did. But Jesus said, hey, if you do, if you, if you do these things the way that I'm doing them, you're going to make a, better, a, greater, a greater impact than even I will. And I think for us to do that, the, one of the key things is we have to start seeing people how Jesus did. He saw them with compassion. Another way, uh, another verse per, per, puts it that, that he, like, he saw them with a, as, as sheep without a shepherd. And what's that mean? It's just a whole bunch of lost people with no one to take care of them. If you just put sheep out in the field, they're, they're going to eventually die because there's no one taking care of them. We as leaders are set up to impact the people around us, but we have to first view them with compassion. Are you viewing them with compassion? Because that's how God views them. So this is what I want you guys to do. Take some notes uh, and leave them in the comments. But I want you to find a couple scriptures in, in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, 
where it says that phrase or something, it, depending on the translation, it might say something a little differently, but that Jesus moved with compassion. You can even use Google search or whatever, that phrase and find a verse. I don't care how you do it, but I want you to, to uh, if, if you want, and I would suggest this, go a step further and see how many times that phrase is used because that is the main motivation of Jesus as a leader. So that should be our motivation as a leader. That was why Jesus made such an impact was because of his level of compassion. I would say that your level of compassion as a leader is gonna determine your level of impact. And if you're honest with yourself and say, my level of compassion isn't as high as it should be, man, I, get along with God and pray for that. Pray for that, for that, for that view of people and God, show me your people as you see them. And we've talked about that before in different series, but I just so feel that coming back up in me that we need to start as leaders viewing people with compassion. Your level of impact, I think, is directly related to your level of compassion that you see people. So leave those scriptures in the comments also for your homework uh, for just this week. And I hope you guys have a great week. Uh, let me pray for you. God, I just thank you for every student leader here today. God, we're watching this video. Lord, I thank you that you've placed them in, a, in an incredible place, God, that you've put the desire in their heart to, to, to lead and be uh, an example for you. Lord, I just pray that you would just guide them on how to do that. And Lord, I just pray that, that you would help them to see people as you see them, God, that they would be led with compassion in the name of Jesus. Amen. We'll see you guys on Wednesday.